Hello, this is Vesa Ivanov from Microsoft. And in this video, we'll have a look on a new feature in the Microsoft Viva connection related on the dashboard, which will give you the opportunity as an end user to rearrange, hide, and personalize the dashboard view. So what it means is that your administrator within your company can control uh, what are the default cards and experiences which are available within the Viva connection. You can, you can have multiple dashboards, you can personalize cards using audiences and all of that stuff. And then you publish those out for the end users. Now, some of those cards for specific roles might be relevant for individuals. Some might feel that that particular card is not useful for them. So this new feature, gives the opportunity for end users to hide, rearrange, um, and, and really create that personalized view of the dashboard with the cards and settings what the administrator or the dashboard uh, creator or editor has defined for Viva Connection. And this functionality, of course, works across the desktop and mobile and the tablet view. So let's have a look on how this works in practice. Now, here we are in the desktop view of Viva Connection. Uh, this is our Contoso uh, airline uh, imaginary dashboard for aviation sign. And of course, we have a cool set of, uh, cool set of uh, cards here available and as an administrator or as a editor who has the right permissions, you can define what will be the default dashboard. You can create actually multiple dashboards within your company and target those based on audiences. And you can, of course, also uh, target individual cards based on audiences and settings and configurations and all of that stuff. So there's a lot of, lot of opportunities for personalization, making sure that the, the dashboard is relevant for the particular user. Now, regardless of that, it might be there might be the cases where the end user feels like one or two of the cards are not relevant for them, or they would like to change the experience to be more personalized for them. And that's what this new feature is all about. So you can actually see this customized option uh, within the top card uh, within here. And as it says, you can rearrange and hide cards to create a personalized view. So when I click that one, uh, the whole dashboard moves to an edit mode. I can, I can hide stuff. I can not add stuff, I can actually get, uh, I can use the icons in here to hide stuff, as you can see, let's get rid of that one and that one, for example. And for, for example, for me, I wanna have that card and the pay card first, uh, because those are more important, um, so I know what is my income. So now as a personalized edit, I can save this, and that setting will be then applied for desktop and mobile devices. So now if I save this, we can actually see that those cards which I disabled not to be visible are no longer visible within the dashboard. And I shuffled or prioritized the pay card and also the, the uh, uh, vacation card for with Workday uh, to be the ones which are more visible and more relevant for me. Now I can also of course come here and say uh, reset to default and that will make sure that everything is as the administrator defined uh, originally. So more flexibility for end users to make the dashboard even more personalized. Administrators can also use audiences, they can target different dashboards based on the different audiences and then this level adds that additional personalization option uh, for the car dashboard. Now, it said desktop and, and mobile, as, and that's uh, precisely what it is. So if we go here uh, to the mobile view, and let me actually hide uh, that <clears throat> that card there. So we can only focus on the mobile view. And uh, here's our mobile Android uh, card in a uh, Android emulator. And we can see the Viva Connection, cool Viva Connection experience here as well. I can access obviously announcements, see the cards and everything else. And, and for example, in my case, uh, we're kind of having this experience where what if the user is actually carrying the phone with them in the uh, inside of the, the plane and what getting information around, for example, the weather or getting information about the seat map and seat map and the users who are wherever they're sitting or watching my next uh, flights or adding additional things. So the settings which I did in the desktop will be synced in here, but I can actually, if I'm more as a frontline worker, I can actually modify this experience directly here as well. So I can uh, use the similar functionality targeted and designed for mobile, which has the customized dashboard clicking that one, and now I can rearrange or hide, for example, the seat map and sales dashboard. Let's keep the seat map there, but put, for example, the weather update and my next flight uh, as the first ones. Let's make sure that this works uh, on live demo, uh, hiding uh, my courses, speed packages, and all and mode switch, and good to know. Applying 
and that will basically then minimize the cards which are available but you can see that the card layout has been shuffled well not shuffled it's it is based on my personal preference so i can access the weather information directly from there i can access my next flights over there and then if i'm inside of the plane i can have a discussion or have an insights of what are the people and where they're sitting and all of that stuff uh, in the contos airline which by the way a great airline which don't miss those flights if you have see those orders so that's kind of the idea uh, with the personalization uh, which we provide with the customized dashboard view for both desktop and also for the mobile side. So you are able to personalize that in a individual level. Again, you can personalize, you can have multiple dashboards uh, based on audiences. You can have individual cards visible based on audiences. And then this is the final level of flexibility for the individual end user. Now, what's also really cool, just calling it out, and the whole system works really, really great, or the cards and Viva Connection works great in the tablet. Tablet Right now, as we are recording this video, the tablet version unfortunately does not have uh, the modification experience, but it's, it's in, it's, is in the roadmap. And we're, of course, always listening our feedback from the uh, users and, and users of the Viva Connection on prioritizing what we need to do next within our pipeline. But thank you for watching and to do take advantage of Viva Connection. It is a brilliant, brilliant frontline worker engagement tool uh, with desktop and tablet and mobile experiences. Thank you.